Welcome to the farm stand kitchen. Today, as you've seen in the promo, we're gonna make some fried apples today. So come on in, I'm gonna show you my recipe. It's quick, easy. Um, you can use about any apple that you have on hand. So that's what we're gonna do today. So what I have here um, in the skillet, I just have three and a half tablespoons of salted butter and we've just let this melt. And then in the bowl here, I've already cored these and I like to leave the peels on my apples for fried apples. If you don't like to do that, you don't have to, but I kind of like to do that. So I have four apples here. And as you can see, I have some yellow, some yellow delicious, and I also have a pinata. I just used what I had on hand today. Um, so I have a pinata, uh, yellow delicious, and I think I had one honey crisp. And this was just four medium sized apples. So we're just gonna go ahead and let them start breaking down. We're just sauteing these apples in the butter. And that's what you wanna do. And probably about eight minutes is what you're gonna want to do these. And this is a medium high heat. And we're gonna let those soften up just a little bit before we add our other ingredients. Now, the reason why I chose to do this one today is because yesterday I just got this craving for fried apples. And I was like, you know what? I think we should just do fried apple video because I know there's lots of people that do like it. And I thought you guys would like this one. And I eat mine just a little bit different. I actually eat mine with ice cream. And so it's like a dessert for me. Now you can use fried apples as a side dish. It goes really well with pork. Like you make some pork chops, pork cutlets, um, a pork loin roast. Fried apples go really well with that. So you can also serve it as a side dish. And you guys probably have really great ideas how you eat your fried apples. And you can just uh, get a bowl and just eat a bowl of fried apples. That's okay too. But you really can kind of make, I kind of make these a dessert is what I do. All right, so we're just getting these softened up a little bit. Now, I also want to tell you, um, when I do my fried apples, I don't like to totally soften them out. I like them just to be still just a little bit firm. So you just don't have a, you know, a mushy apple. And especially if you're just using what you have on hand, I would highly suggest that you just, um, you know, don't soften them all the way out. You just want a little bit of uh, texture in there when you get them done. So we're just gonna keep sauteing here just for a few minutes longer and then we're gonna add some more ingredients to this. It's going to make it fabulous. Now, I have to tell you, I've had a lot of fried apples over the years and I wasn't really a big fan. Um, I know people that have made them and they kind of just turn out watery and um, I just didn't really care for them. So I try to come up with a recipe where the sauce clings to the apple because I, I like for my sauce to be everywhere on my fried apples. And then that even makes them more delicious. Clingy sauce, that's what we like. So that's kind of what I did here. I just kind of messed around with this. I've been making these for quite a few years. And so I'm sticking with this one because Everybody loves it. It is a really great recipe. And that's what we're gonna do. All right, I'm just about ready here to add. Dave's coming in for a close shot here. Mm -hmm. Apples are so beautiful. I love them. It's one of my favorite fruits. I love apples of all kinds. Homemade applesauce, apple butter, which we're gonna be using today. I use a little apple butter in my recipe home canned apple butter. All right, now those are starting to soften up a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and add my next ingredient. So I'm just gonna give these just a little pinch of salt. We need just a little, just a little salt to get our flavor going there. All right, so here I have a quarter cup of white sugar and one teaspoon of a good ground cinnamon. So we're gonna add that to our apples. And you know what else that you can use these apples for when you would get them done? You could use this like in a tart. 
like an apple tart. That would be fabulous. There's so many ways that you can use fried apples. Because really what you're doing is just making an apple pie filling, basically, is what you're doing. Only, you know, you're frying them, getting a little, getting a little crust on them. Oh, wow. Does that smell amazing? So good. All right, I'm going to smash those down a little bit. Just let them cook a tiny bit here. Oh, I wish you could smell this. This would be awesome if you could smell things through social media. Because this is smelling pretty fine, I tell you. All right. So let's just let those cook just a tiny bit there. And we'll talk about our next ingredients. Hey, did you guys see that new uh, Food Network um, thing that they have now called In the Kitchen? The Kitchen? Where um, they're actually, they're doing the same thing that we're doing. They're teaching people how to cook. And we've been doing that for three and a half years, but now the Food Network's doing it. You can uh, log on and they'll do the same thing that we're doing right here. We're teaching people how to cook all over the world. And I want to give a shout out to my um, followers in Iceland. I have some followers in Iceland. They sent me pictures of some beautiful pumpkin rolls that they made in Iceland. I just, I love that. I love to hear from all of you all over the world. It is so cool. It always makes me smile and um, so satisfying. And it always just makes my heart fall when so many people across the world are making farm stand recipes. It's just like the coolest thing ever. I love it. We are inspiring people all over the world to get in their kitchens and cook. So... If that's all we're meant to do, that's great. Inspire people to get in their kitchens and cook. All right, so these are softening up real nice now. And they smell amazing. All right, let's talk about our next ingredients. All right, we're going to do some apple butter. Home canned apple butter. You can get apple butter in your store. So it doesn't have to be home canned. But if you have it, use it. And we're going to use a half a cup. And we're going to put this in a little bowl because we're going to whisk this up a little bit. I'll put this in here, Dave, then I'll come a little closer so you can. So half a cup of apple butter. Everything smells so delicious today. I tell ya. There's nothing more fragrant than apples and cinnamon. And... All right, so I got that in there. Half a cup apple butter. Okay, so I'll show you this half a cup of apple butter. And to that, we're going to add two tablespoons of milk. One teaspoon of cornstarch. And now we're just going to whisk this together. This is our apple butter, our cornstarch, and two tablespoons of milk. Okay, that all blended together. All right, let's just give these on. I'm gonna little stir her. Okay, these are just about perfect for me. Um, they're a little soft, so have a little crunch to them. And like I say, if you like yours uh, quite soft, just go ahead and cook them down till when you touch them with a fork, they're quite soft. But I just think they have a delicious flavor and they're really good if you just leave a little crunch to them. All right, so when you get to this point, about eight minutes, you wanna saute these down. Oh, that smells so amazing. Now we're gonna add this mixture, our apple butter mixture. Get that in there. And then we're just gonna combine all this. We'll let our cornstarch thicken just a little bit. And mix with our butter and all the other deliciousness in there. Tell you what, this is one delicious skillet of apples. They are so good. So when we add this here, you just want to 
let this cook here just for about 30 seconds to a minute. You just want this to thicken a little bit more. You got that little cornstarch in there. And see how it's just thickening up? And it's just gonna completely coat all of your apples. No watery apples here, let me tell you that. They're so good. There we go. Delicious fried apples. I'm gonna scoot these and then just scoot them off the heat. That's what you wanna do, just scoot them off the heat. And then just let these cool down just for a little bit. Just let them get to warm. You don't wanna serve them piping hot. You just want them to be warm. And I'm gonna show you how I uh, fix mine. How about that? So I'm just gonna take a little bit of ice cream. And you do not have to eat yours like this, but just bad. I gotta have my vanilla bean ice cream. So I just like to put some ice cream in. And then we're just gonna get a few apples. And you got that delicious sauce too. But I just like to eat them right with a little vanilla bean ice cream is what I like to do. See how they stay nice and saucy? It just stays on there. I mean, they just it just clings right to them. They're super delicious. All right, I'm gonna just snag a bite. This is gonna be so good. It's a little vanilla bean and our fried apples. This might be kind of hot. This is gonna be my lunch today. I guarantee you, fried apples and ice cream is gonna be my lunch. You gotta try these fried apples. 